Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and yeah, I'm doing it outdoor for the first time so this is the brightest part of the day where I can do outdoors because like yeah, I go to work and come back at around 6.30 so it's like this bright at 6.30 now and forgive my tired looking face and uh, because I'm just back from work and I thought I'll do a good video for you guys so that's important right yeah so i hope my voice is clear because i'm outdoors there's too much of noise behind me this kids playing around in our flats and yeah yeah there's a lot of stuffs happened in the uh, last couple of weeks yeah sorry guys i couldn't post a video last week but yeah so we make it up for this week yeah a so, uh, couple of weeks back we had been to this world on a plate event which happened in uh, bangalore ubi city mall and jw marriott so this world on a plate event is like it's like uh, the master chef of australia three judges gary matt and george were there and we happened to be a part of it we got vip passes it's 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 not what you think guys nobody invited us we just bought the tickets in, on an early bird offer and we were looking forward to it like uh, me and my husband uh, sandy so we both love food we are great foodies and uh, we watch shows food shows and you know always so we wanted to be part of this and uh, yes so we bought the tickets on early bird and uh, we made sure we went there and uh, we had a lot of fun there guys like i couldn't take um, you know i couldn't meet them face to face like you know talk to them face to face or take pictures with them but then we saw them uh, tasting food making food and then uh, talking and it's it's a different level of experience guys i know people who are uh, really fans of march chef australia would understand my uh, yeah what i felt so yes so that's about what what's on a plate so they had a lot of events uh, lined up that day they like uh, all three of them made you know they were made to make dosas for uh, for the audience and um, they uh, there was also an event like similar to the master chef australia like 20 odd restaurants participated and uh, five of them were selected for finals and uh, yeah there's so much of wind here okay so five of them um, five of them were chosen for the finals and finally they 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 talk very similarly um, like they do in master chef and then they choose the yeah final they choose the winner they choose the winner out of the five yeah so it was it was awesome guys so i'll upload a couple of secret videos for you guys where they judge some of the restaurants and uh, how they had fun tasting indian food and all that so apart from this we also had a lot of stalls put up by five star uh, hotels like leela palace and and other uh, people yeah so they had food food stalls amazing food guys and amazing pictures coming up for you guys so very special for you guys yeah so and then we had the signature dishes by uh, gary matt and george so they had their uh, stalls where they where they had chefs from australia come here and make their signature dishes and you can taste them so we had this uh, white chocolate mousse by gary and it was amazing melt in the mouth yeah i'll put up a picture of that only that i can do i cannot bring the dish to you guys so uh, yeah i pay to go for this event and um, had lots of fun the brunch from jw marriott was amazing guys amazing variety like the desserts itself they had about the deserts itself they had about 50 odd deserts and i got to eat only 25 to 30 i couldn't have all of them so there was so much of variety and unlimited yeah it was amazing so yeah so i'll put up a lot of i'll put up a lot of pictures it'll be a picture journey for you a photo journey of you of the whole event so enjoy guys being my subscribers you get to do all this okay so i haven't posted this anywhere in facebook or instagram like most of the pictures i haven't posted so i've uh, reserved it for my youtube video on this so enjoy
work, you know? A little bit of Kobe. A little bit of Kobe. A little bit of Kobe. Our chefs, tell them what you mean. Yeah, we're okay. We, 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 we've we done it a few times. Yeah, one or two. <laughs> um, chef, now, now tell us what the dish is. There's some quite interesting techniques in these, isn't it? This is not, it looks traditional, but it's not necessarily traditional. Yes, Chef. Uh, what we've done is uh, we want to create a, a playful taste of India. Because what has happened is uh, India today has taken a very authentic, you know, very old school uh, uh, cuisine when it comes to North Indian food. So, what we're trying to do is keeping the flavors and the techniques very original in terms of presentation and the overall balance of texture. Talk us through what the actual dish is. So it's chicken mince, yeah? Yeah, so basically the sugar cane uh, is peeled and then it's soaked uh, overnight uh, in a sugar syrup uh, and light juice. And then the chicken is ground uh, with Indian spices, fennel and cumin. Then it's enveloped on that sheet and uh, then it's uh, riddled and served. There's a freshly modeled uh, you know, I'll just stop listening to what you're saying. <laughs> I'm just got excited. I've just, just blanked out because I'm looking at that and I've put this lovely little... What is that? Chef, that's uh, a freshly ground sauce for you, which wow. we made with basil. So basil sauce, that little sauce there? Correct. Great. Here we go. Please, Chef. Oh, you, you can go now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Tell him that they're good. On the show, we kind of look at them, you know. <laughs> that. They are. Got the music. They are young, absolutely delicious. I have to say, I didn't see this dish yesterday. When that. When that was put down in front of us, I was just absolutely drawn to those beautiful sugarcane sticks and that lovely, you know, glossy mince. And then when you pop that in your mouth, that those spices just absolutely sing. There's a bit of acidity there, there's a bit of heat in there, it's beautifully seasoned. And this little basil chutney on the side, I think that's young. Yeah, my mouth is watering. Yeah, I love that. I, 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 love, I love the way it's, I love the way it's cooked and give, give us a real golden, like little touchy brown bits in there, which is great. There's an absolute sing there, some good chili heat in the, um, the basil. Um, the meat is absolutely perfectly cooked. It's really tender. The danger is this can get overcooked and get um, some of the Maybe there's some lamp pad or something in there. Then how are you going, George? Um, for me, this is uh, 
there's a technique you get in that meets to to be like that. You know, it's about yeah, it's about you know. So he's done that really, really well. Not of a source. I tell you, my only confusion is this little Italian stuff that I've left. Yeah, why? <laughs> Balsamic and tomatoes. But hey, you know what? That's okay. Shall we get the next issue? No, but actually, no. He needs to be told. You know, he needs to be told. Yeah. You know, because the, the delicious bit is these it's beautiful. There. Is there yeah. and that chunk. That's the bit where you just take it too far. Yeah, and you do things. You do things like this, don't you? Go see this. Don't need it. Don't need it. Careful of that tomato, right? And, and, and the real, the real, the real problem. The real problem is that the Italian stuff maybe doesn't fit, but there, there's a little pile here of fondica, which is fantastic. But you know, <laughs> maybe that should have been on the dish and perhaps pickled or something. Okay. Brilliant, right? Yeah, right, guys. Let's get the next dish. Um, this proud moment is local and new global. We have chosen four key local ingredients and used it in four dishes. Okay. In this ingredient is the Bengali mustard, which is paired with raspberry olive oil, which is used for the salmon. And we have made a seafood ravioli, which is cooked in a clam broth. Wow. So, so what's in the spinach. what's in the seafood so ravioli? We have crab meat, all the shellfish cooked, and then uh, bind it with some cheese, and then we cooked it with some clam broth, made raw, and then with the spinach and salmon. Beautiful. Very complex, isn't it? <laughs> the mustard is the key ingredient. Sorry, yeah. Jean Michel, you, you, you want to say? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Okay. Aioli as well. But we the fish will give you a very interesting flavor. It's fantastic. Love it. Good stuff. Uh, Looks great. So, the, um, is this typical of the kind of dishes you have on your restaurant? Sorry. Typical of the kind of dishes that you do? Uh, this is the time. What we want to showcase is Indian produce is ready for an international appeal. That's what we want to showcase. They always say grass is greener on the other side, but we yeah. want to say the grass is greener here. Yeah. I think, I mean, I mean, for me, for me, there are three really good dishes on this plate. The, the, you know, there's a great ravioli dish, there's a great summer dish, and there's a great clam dish. And what I'd love to see is this over over three courses. I think you then have a beautiful dish. I'd also, I think, I mean, I, for me, the, the idea of pairing local salmon with with a, a Bengali mustard sauce is great. But that, you know, you want it to, you want it to be like a, a true Bengali kasundi, you know, mustard oil and that real tang that that has. I'm going to agree with you, absolutely. There's three dishes on there. You know, I could have, and that Bengali mustard is absolutely delicious. And I think the, the shame of it is, I think what they feel is the pressure of showing off. And a lot of that, a lot, I do as a chef too. You feel, you know, if there's other chefs in the, in the house and you want to show off, you put extra things on the plate. And every, every element is delicious, but is there too many delicious elements competing with themselves? I think we need to, you know, big tick on the salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tortellini ravioli is made like you know any great Super. European chef. Uh, the the farce is lovely, but it's just that there's so much going on there yeah. that you could break it down and create little degustation that you have everything that's there. But yeah. geez, they've sown so much. They put a lot of work in. Yeah, a lot, lot, lot of work. Of but then we do this. But is the amount of work they put in going to pay off? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and what uh, what other thing which I wanted to talk to you about is yeah health fitness, staying healthy, fit, and confident. So these three are very important to us. On crossing the age of twenty five, we all have to be healthy, healthy, and do some sort of workout for sure. I know many people have been telling you this, but serious guys being my subscriber you need to you need to follow this you need to be healthy and uh, have a active work style so uh, we have these smartphones these days which can do a lot of stuff i really hate people who use phones just for calling and messaging that it is a smartphone it can do 100 things like it is your personal assistant it is like your notepad it's like your diary it's like your alarm clock it's like your calendar it's it can do so much stuff you're paying so much for your smartphone so better use it properly so one one of the things which you can use in your smartphone is the step counter so all of the phones come with step counters these days like it calculates it uh, you know counts uh, your steps which which use which can be done by other expensive equipments like fitbit watches other sports gears and all that but then your phone by itself can do so I think the video quality is reducing because the light it's getting darker out here yeah so better I finish my video faster better
okay so it calculates the steps you walk a day so ideally a very active person walks about 10,000 steps a day so I would recommend at least 8,000 to 10,000 steps a day so make sure you check the cal uh, calorie sorry you make sure the steps counter uh, check out the steps counter every day so that you at least walk 8,000 to 10,000 steps so for example if you take me I go to work by cab I don't walk to bus stop take bus and all that so if you that still I go to work and come back and all that a normal day if I check my steps I have I would have just walked around 4,000 3,000 to 4,000 steps that's very very less which means I'm not an active person so I need to come back or do morning I need to work out in the morning or evening uh, just walk or uh, go to gym or play something play some sport or something or the other guys do something or the other guy other and increase your steps so make sure you're active so we are not we are not in those days where we eat and we balance it out by working out in the farm and doing heavy physical activity no we are not doing anything physical now we're just using our mind at work and study so yeah we need to be active or join a some join some small uh, sort of sports like swimming or badminton or uh, tennis or any sport that you like just be active and uh, that you can check with the steps yeah so just comment on uh, let me know guys on a normal regular day how much steps do you walk without being you know without taking efforts to do any physical activity how much steps do you walk because i find i found it really shocking to be like you know just three thousand steps a whole day seriously guys so yeah i make sure that i do some sort of physical activity at, uh, every day or at least five days a week so that's one thing and the other thing is i want to talk about sugar yeah the poison the white refined sugar is very bad for our health uh, it's very bad for our health guys and um you would have read already read a lot about it you need not be diabetic or something to avoid sugar just when you cross 25 you need to take these precautions to be healthy later on so yeah just avoid white sugar you will you will love me for for telling this to you because i must be i i can understand what you're going through see i am a, i am a person who's like who has a very bad sweet tooth i love desserts i i love baking whatever you bake has sugar in it but still but still i have decided to avoid sugar as much as i can so avoid white sugar as much as you can i i i love teas you know but yeah you know right you can't drink tea without sugar but then yeah so i have made up my mind and i am trying to reduce teas the number of i am trying to reduce the number of teas i have and the sugar i use so when whenever you add sugar try to reduce the amount of sugar you use and whenever you use sugar try to replace white sugar with either brown sugar or jack or coconut sugar or palm sugar the unrefined ones uh, that you know why why you should use them they have a low glycemic index and they take time to uh, you know uh, release glucose to the bloodstream not like the white sugar and they have added minerals along with it so try also try reducing the quantity of sugar you use to half and then you'll get used to that taste of tea or other things with half quantity sugar and then later you can become no sugar person yeah so that's another thing which i wanted to share with you guys which i'm trying it out yeah guys i know you would be thinking that i just now told you that i had like 25 30 deserts in the event and i'm just telling you that don't eat sugar contradicting my point but yeah i do have cheat meal days like uh, once in a week where i generally avoid sugar but that's like once in a year event so yeah i had to eat the desert so you can have cheat meal days it's not that you have totally want to avoid that it's not that you totally have to avoid but you can have cheat meal days once in a week but not every day yeah and don't end up splurging on things on that day of the week compensating for all that you have you know given up on the rest of the days so yeah be conservative to make healthy choices and you would be where you would want to be
yeah so this yeah and also let me know guys do you like the indoor lighting or the outdoor stuff yeah yeah that's too much for one video there's so much wind out here and it's getting darker so i better finish my video so let's catch up in another vlog maybe this week or maybe next week i'm i promise that i make more vlogs if you like this video please give a big thumbs up so that i make more videos and please do subscribe if you haven't see you guys please follow me on instagram there's a lot happening on instagram and also on snapchat i'll give the like links down below Bye bye